Recent student protests in Bangladesh have escalated into violent clashes. More than 105 people have been killed and hundreds are injured in the protest. Over 400 students, among which 204 are Indian, were rescued and brought to India through Meghalaya's Dauki. Among these, 78 are from Assam and 13 from Meghalaya. The unrest in Bangladesh centers around demand to abolish a controversial quota system in government jobs which reserves positions for the relatives of veterans who fought in the 1971 war of independence from Pakistan. Protesters argue that this system is discriminatory and hinders equal opportunities for all citizens. The situation escalated further following a statement from Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on July 14 in which he seemed to liken the protesters to the descendants of Razakars. The Razakars were mercenary collaborators with the Pakistan military who orchestrated a brutal campaign of murder and rape during the 1971 war, resulting in the deaths of an estimated 3 million Bangladeshis within a few months. The violence erupted as police attempted to disperse the demonstrators, leading to confrontations that have only intensified public outcry. The quota system intended to honor the sacrifices of freedom fighters is viewed by many as outdated and unjust. The protesters, largely composed of university students, are calling for a merit-based recruitment process. Speaking about the unrest, the Pramota chairman, Pradyot Manikya Dev Barma, said that the instability in Bangladesh immediately affects bordering northeastern states like Tripura, Assam and Meghalaya. He added, porous borders and illegal migration affects the tribal people where land is aplenty but not the population. Land laws have to be strengthened in the 6th schedule areas. Dev Burma further urged the government to constitutionally secure the indigenous population for future generations.